everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with deborah with the saturday vloggy thing you know i've been doing these things for a year now what which means i've been crocheting just a little over a year i can't believe all the stuff that i've made already and all the stuff that i'm still making now because wow all right life stuff yes because we're gonna start with the life and stuff and then jump into the crochet first off with the life stuff you know car is working great got a headlight that's going in and out which is always fun but it's fixable and it will be fixed today we have the headlight bulb but putting it in if you ever had to put a headlight into a car it's not that it's terribly difficult it's just that you have to have teeny tiny hands and you have to be able to bend around corners and get on the ground it's just it's no fun but that'll be done today uh so that's not really a big thing but my washing machine has decided now it doesn't want to work. You know, home ownership just has its perks, doesn't it? But, but, it is just the most basic El Cheapo washing machine you could have bought at the time. And it's, it's probably eight or ten years old now. And pretty sure it's just an electrical problem. Something in the switch, the, the doohickam jig that turns it on. Because there was no leakage. We had just used it the night before, you know. So... That's a thing. We're going to look at that today as well. And today, I'm recording this on Saturday. Most of the time, I do pre-record my videos, but this is being recorded on Saturday on my lunch break. <laughs> so, yes, still tons and tons of work. So, that's still a thing. But, yeah, it's just been kind of crazy with that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, I'm looking around to see if I need to be reminded of anything. I did get some Happy Mail that I did not put into a separate video. Why? Because I'm a doof. But, anyhow. Oh, this. This is an acquisition. I have not opened it yet. Do I have any scissors in here? Yes. But a pause while I do the scissory thing. Okay. I have done the magical cutting thing now. This is a diamond painting kit. Yeah. I did that thing. Um, but it's from the Diamond Art Club and they had some kind of a coupon and basically it was a $10 off of your order kind of thing. And I bought one that was $10. So all I had to pay was shipping, which ended up being like $9 and change. So that's no big deal. But this should have the entire kit in it. Uh, round diamonds, it says. It's called Soulmates and I don't even remember what the picture looks like. But, all inclusive, see back for contents. No experience required. This is important for me because I've never done this. But I've seen lots of videos. Lots of folks are doing this now. <clears throat> Pardon me. And it looks like fun. It looks interesting. But this is a small one. Okay. $10. It comes with the little drills, the little sparkly bits that you put on there. It comes with the bit that you put the bits on there with. Um, <clears throat> it comes with the... It comes with all the things, and I will do a proper unboxing thing of this sometime very, very soon. It'll get done. I'm going to put that over here. Something else that I got in the mail was actually Happy Mail, though. And yes, I opened it. Um, I won a giveaway from Miss Rosalie at Yarn It Out. And let me show you all of the goodies that I got because she's wonderful. And she sent me a very sweet thank you card thanking me for participating it was her birthday giveaway, and she's thanking me. Hello. Happy birthday again, Rosalie. And, um, yes, very pretty thank you card. Um, she sent me some merch. Yarn it out, baby. Yarn it out. Nice little project bag. Not sure which project I'll put in it yet, because I've got a ton of them. I'll be showing you. Okay. And this. This is cool stuff right here. This is from Premier Yarns. It is a needle or crochet hook or whatever holder. Oh my gosh. And you wrap it up and hold it. Okay, first off, look at the fabric on that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. It's sort of tie-dyed with some other effects on it. I just really think it's neat. Little plastic bits to, you know, cover up whatever you've got in there. There are lots of slots to put things and papers. Zippery bits, places for hooks, and little stretchy bits to hold hooks. Yeah, I'm real good with the technical words. But anyhow, it is super nice. 
Thank you. Thank you, Rosalie. That is awesome. Uh, let me put that over there. Oh, one more thing I didn't even bring over here. Hang on. Okay, actually two things. One thing was um, not a win or anything. This is cotton gloves. I'm trying to wear cotton gloves with lotion under them at night when I sleep to try to help with the problems I'm having with my hands and my skin. I don't have any more splits, so yeah, maybe it's really helping. I hope so, because it's really annoying. Yes, skin issues are a pain. Nice little chunks of my cheeks were falling off earlier. You know, it's all so wonderful, isn't it? So that's something that I ordered for myself. Now, <clears throat> if you are not familiar, oops, Garden State Gardener, Joe, he has giveaway shows. Yes. Um, on Well, now it's on Mondays. He does pierogi Mondays or hot Mondays or whatever. He's taking like pepper powders and stuff and putting them on pierogies. You know where I'm doing my pepper powder tastings on Wednesdays. He's doing his on Mondays um, as a live and he's got giveaways. And he also does Sunday Fun Day on Sunday nights, which you have to watch his registration video and put your name in there and slash or be a member of his channel where you get extra entries if you do that. But yeah, Garden State Gardener, I will have him linked, of course. But I'm a member of his channel, and this was my membership gift this go-around. It's Ogo. It is a Caron Big Donut. That is very, very cool. And supposedly, this donut will make this scarf. I think that's a knitted pattern, though. Anyhow, this is... Uh, the kind that stands up. Oh, let's not drop it. I just, I think it's weird. Although it is kind of squishy this way. It's yarn is squishy anyway, of course. This is a four weight. Um, takes a five millimeter hook. At least that's what's rec recommended. 100% acrylic. This is 280 grams, 459 meters. Machine washable and dryable, it says. And the color is vanilla glaze. This is why they're calling it a big donut. Donut glaze. So I think that's cool. That is a nice color. Um, and yeah, it's got a little scan doohickey here on the back. To where you can scan it and go to get free patterns for this, of course. And it's a Yarnspirations product. So yeah, there's always lots of patterns and stuff. I have not taken this apart yet. I've just been sitting there staring at it for a while. And of course, as you know with yarn, it has to tell me what it wants to be. But wait, that's not all. There's more. <clears throat> he saved on some shipping and sent me, oh my gosh, I have got to find those other seeds. Oh, there they are. Woo! Thought I lost something, okay. I won some seeds as well. Cucumber Suyo Long. So we're going to see if I can grow some cucumbers from Baker's Creek. They're bumpy. Anyhow, love cucumbers, love making cucumber salad. That could be fun if I can get those to grow. And something else that I won were some dwarf tomatoes and when you when you win seeds you get to choose from they have a list of seeds that they're doing now some people choose the hot hots um i just chose from the category dwarf tomato there are some other categories and stuff so yeah dwarf tomato this is just a little packet of seeds should be plenty for my needs um Melly rose rugos regular leaf indeterminate dwarf 10 ounce pink beefsteak I don't know what a lot of that means, but I'm going to look it up and try to get some more seeds going because, oh yeah, and at the end, if I can get it done again, there will be a little slideshow of the progress of my little sprouty plant things because they're looking so cute. Yes, they are. And I told you, there was a lot from Joe this week, okay? I won these on Hot Monday, or I think it was a Wednesday when I won it before he changed it to Mondays. Um, this is from a company called... Puckerbutt. You gotta love that business name, y'all. Puckerbutt. Uh, Carolina Sweet Heat Peanuts. Yes. And this is a nice good package of them, too. They say spicy. Uh, manufactured in Fort Mill, South Carolina. So not terribly far from where I am, quite honestly. Um, but the website for them is puckerbuttpeppercompany.com. Puckerbutt. 
I will be doing a tasting of these at some point, sometime very, very soon. But yeah. <laughs> Bucker butt. <laughs> I love it. I love it. If I had a company, it would be named something goofy like that just because that's, you know, who I am. All right, let me move all of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to pause and get some whips up. Okay. Sorry about all the jumping and stuff. I forgot to close my closet door. Oops. Uh, I'm going to start this week with the hubby blanket because y'all know it has not been getting any love because I've been busy with other stuff. Hasn't gotten much love this week, but ugh, it is getting huge. Um, yeah, I, mean, I got towards the end of the row and my eyelids started slamming shut last night. And I have only done one whole row and a half since I last showed you this. And that is sad, but I'm trying something new now. I'm trying to work on something different each evening. And one evening will be dedicated to the hubby blanket, at least, maybe two. Now from the floor, it's, let's see, it's about this high and I'm about 5'11". So I got a little ways to go and it's really wide. It's wider than my wingspan. I don't know what happened there. It wasn't going to be that big, but that's what it did. This is all made of um, Big Twist, Joanne Big Twist. Three different colors. Two of them are gray. One, excuse me, four colors. Two different grays, a red and a black. And I am alternating with uh, three rows of extended link double crochet. And then these are single crochet and then three rows of the, of the other color just alternating back and forth. It looks kind of cool. Uh, the sides look a lot better now than they did when I started. Mind you, I started this almost a year ago. Yeah, I get distracted easily. It takes a while. Most of the ends are woven in except for like this last foot or so. So that's pretty good because I did take care of all of that. But um, yeah, and after I started, I was like, you know... I have gotten better. Oh, let me pause this. My phone's about to fall. Sorry about that. It was starting to go and then it would have fallen on the floor. That would have been bad. Um, but I asked the hubby if he wanted me to rip it out and start over and he said no. I'm like, okay, so it'll just kind of be progress of my crocheting and how, how far I've come. Uh, by the way, this is being done with a five millimeter hook. This is one of my, um, got it from overseas El Cheapo hooks but it works just dandy in here. And I keep this in my Christmas tree shop's lemon bag right now. It got too big for any of the others because it is a big old blanket at this point. What was I thinking starting a blanket that big, right? Yes, you could definitely see right into my closet. Okay, next is another blanket because why wouldn't I be working on multiple blankets at once when I work 65 hours a week? Hello? Okay, this one doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a pattern. Also, that one, no pattern. Beginner crochet brain. That's all that is. This one also just, this is just corner to corner, y'all. Just corner to corner. And I did make a little progress on it this week. Again, I'm trying to take, um, just, you know, working on different something a little each day. But this is getting big. This is, uh, wow, I didn't realize how big this was getting. From the floor, now mind you, it stretches out because it's a very loose weave the way that I did it. But it's almost as tall as I am. And once I get to about the midway skein, a midway point of this ball of mandala, I'm going to start the decreases and hopefully it'll start going faster. Boy, corner to corner is really fast when you're starting, right? Those little tiny rows, yeah, you're just moving. But when you get to the big part, y'all... It takes forever, but I love this color combination. Even the hubby looked at it and he's like, I love the way the colors fade into each other. That is the beauty of a mandala cake because you don't have to do any work color wise. You can just let the yarn do it and just let it go and it fades and it's pretty. And I realized after I've been doing this a while that my corner to corner is a little bit different than everyone else's because I mean, like everything else, I've just kind of, oh yeah, and, and started doing it and well, it's just a little different. But yeah, this is Mandela in Unicorn, I believe. Yes, Unicorn. But yeah, once I get a little further into this cake, the decreases will start. And I will be glad for that so that it starts going faster again. And this is kept in a little bag that I picked up at Goodwill and threw in the wash. It's a big, it's 
stout and canvas and nice. It, you can tie the top shut, but why? This is just sitting in the house most of the time. And this one is using a five millimeter hook. Another one. Ta-da! And a dollar pencil pouch from either Dollar Tree or Dollar General or maybe Walmart because I picked them up from all over the place. They are handy to stick your notions in to carry with you like this. Okay, next. All right, next whip. Told you I got a lot going on, y'all. Is essentially another blanket because I can't help myself. But, but this one is part of the hashtag rock 2022 au with judy at witch piece crafts um this next square i have started because she comes out with the albums that we're supposed to be inspired by or the album covers in my case um on the first and the 15th of the month and that came out and it was a janice joplin album which is all in black and white except for some red around the edge so i'm going to be doing some black some, some shades of gray into black there will be some red in this but this is how far i am right now that is in my Halloween Express bag. Nothing to do with Halloween, but it is a handy bag to keep a project in that I can keep kind of under the table in the living room so that when, when the time comes, I could pull it out and go, yes, it's time to work on this again. Okay, next. Okay, this next one hasn't gotten very far since last week, but I have put a couple of rows into it. This is a shawl kind of dealie that I have started. Um, there is no pattern. It is very, very tiny yarn. And I'm just having fun making up stitches and seeing what happens. And I'm just keeping track of where my increases are. That's all I'm doing with the stitch markers. That just kind of helps me know where I am so I don't get it all messed up real bad. But I don't know if you can see. There's a lot of, you know, lacy bits in here. Just a whole bunch of different stitches. And I may start repeating what I've done up in the top now that I've gotten a little bit further. But there's that. And the yarn that is, or almost thread, we can call it. Here's my, oh, here is the ball that I'm using. I have used very little of it. This is It's a Wrap Hues by Red Heart. It is a two weight, or it says, it claims it's a two weight. Honey, that is not a two weight. That is a one all day long, I think, or maybe one and a half. Is one and a half a thing? It's, but it's lighter than any two that I've fiddled with. Granted, I haven't been doing it for very long. It recommends a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. I am not going that small. I am going to a 4.5. For one thing, that, that really tiny crochet hook just makes it too hard for me to fool with. And for another thing, I want it to be super drapey and stuff. So, that. Okay, and that is in my very, very sweet bag from Lena's Design. Yes, I love it. Let me pop this over here and... Next, because this is not the last one, this is the Mystery Cow. It is getting quite large, and I think we're doing the last three rows this week um, after I get off work. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of cool. I don't think it's a giraffe anymore, unless it's just a big giraffe butt. But I'm still calling it my giraffe. This is being done with... Schackenmeyer, uh, Studebaker, Original Lova. And by the way, the Mystery Cow. This is my Lisa Ladybird Loves. That is her brainchild right there. Well, the pattern isn't hers. It's a long story. You'll have to watch the cow to find out about it. But she told us all to get six weight yarn and how much of it to get. And it wasn't that much. And I still have more. I bought it on sale at Little Knits like a year, nearly a year ago. Uh, this is a six weight. It is a chain spun. I'm having the, the, the yarn is great. So easy to work with. Nice big hook. Yeah, go from that big hook thing to the little shawl thing that I was working on. Whoa, totally different life. Okay, but that right now is in a bag that I actually got from Lisa Ladybird Loves. Unicorn Club. That was in a, a happy mail win kind of deal. Okay, putting this over here. The final whip, because I have no foes. Well, actually, I do have some foes. Let me get the whip first, and then we'll get the foes. Okay. 
stand by. <laughs> the only reason it's in here is because the, the yarn is in the other room. And I forgot to show this last week because I'm a doof. Okay. This is my temperature project up to and not including the square for yesterday's uh, temperature because I haven't done it yet. I have numbers on here that are wonky as I'll get out because I did them 22 for 2022. One, that is for January. Every month we'll have a number. There's the two for February. And all of mine is in blues. The inner circle is the low. The outer circle is the high. And it is being lie or connected with white. White that you can purposely see. That's how I'm doing the stitches. And this is starting into March. You can see up to March 3rd. Um, yeah, we got warm the last couple of days, but this has been fun. And now I have two or three people actually asking me in person every day, not in person because I don't see everybody in person, but they're like, did you get your square done? Did you get your square done? <laughs> yes, I got my square done. Okay. But I, I do. I work on it every day and I made sure that it was something, these are small. They take me just a few minutes. So I can keep up with it every day and I'm proud of myself for doing that so far. Now, let me get my foes. And my foes. Wow. Lots of stuff. More scrunchies. Um, just some different ones. These are not the ones that I had already done. I'm one of my evenings I'm working on scrunchies. Little tiny stuff. These are all just beginner crochet brain. Various scrap yarns that I have. Some are smaller. Some are larger as, as far as poofiness goes. A little delicate one. A not so little delicate one. Lots of swirlies on that one. Lots and lots of little swirlies on this one. And another small delicate one. But all of my completed scrunchies are going in this awesome bag that I got from Miss Ingrid. And there are a bunch in there now. Most of these are probably going to go to Rose Likes Crochet for Wings when it is time for those. So there is that. There, I had a foe. Coming up this week, I have been um, challenged and tagged to do the blindfold granny square challenge. We'll see how that's going to go. We'll see if I can get that recorded this weekend. Also, more pepper tastings, more food yummies, more snacks around the world. I really do have to get some flip throughs done and some book looks done and drink some tea and yes, chock full of things in life. And this video has gone long enough. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Stay tuned if you want to see some a couple of pictures of my little growing experiment going on with gardening. Uh, because that's a thing. And um, just thanks. Um, this is a journey. This is just little bits about my life. And I appreciate you coming along for it. If you're not subscribed already, I'd invite you to consider doing so. And uh, please hit the like. Please comment if you like. I would love to hear from you. I may not respond back immediately, but I will respond. Sometimes it just takes me a few days or close to a week. Just say it. But I do. And I love it when you comment. I see them and it makes me happy. It really does. I will see y'all very soon. Bye y'all.